It's the Betfred Grand National Trial at Haydock on Saturday. Um, 14 have been left in. Martin Stanley here has got the winner. Quite an intriguing choice as well, I think. I'm not certain it's the winner. I think it's well, a... no, he thinks it's the winner. Hopefully. No, it's, a, it's a price. Again, everything's yeah. a price, Rob, isn't it? You know, and... Five to one the field, the bow by the Welsh national winner. Again, he's gone up thirteen pounds to one forty. I think that's going to stop him. He's around five to one with Giles Cross, who was second in the Welsh national. Unfortunately for me, two years running, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, he's gone up two pound in the handicap. Uh, they're both around the five to one mark. One also I do like was Ray Nacarado, but he's five pound wrong. He's up slightly. He's up a lot in class actually, so he's got a squeak. Do you think it makes a difference being wrong even? Five pounds over three and a half miles. Oh, man, massive difference. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, some target. Uh, again, also Woody Mullins is going to attract plenty of support with Woody Mullins with 10 stone on his back. Rate 133. He was six in the fiesta these last time, but I know this horse, but he doesn't jump very well, this mm. horse. He makes mistake after mistake. He can't do that at Haddock. My old mate Mon Moan never seems to run a race at Haddock. I backed him last time and he was pulled up. Give up with him at Haddock. And also he'll be having a spin round for the main event at Aintree again. Also like him with top weight is Neptune Collange. Mm. Uh, cracking second last time to hold on Julio, who was absolutely loved in that day. He's gone up about a stone in the handicap, hasn't he? At 11-12 in that race at Sand. And Harry Derham takes seven off him. He's a good jock as well. He's it? well worth his £7 mm. claim, isn't he? You know, we hear all the time about this jock is worth this and worth that. He is worth £7, mm. pound, Harry Derham. And he's a class animal. Is he yeah. running four consecutive gold cups or mm. something? He's a real, real good animal, isn't he? Mm. You can't help but love him. I just think he might get out in front and get in on a soft lead. And they're going to be going a lot slower in this race than he's been used to. And he, I remember earlier in the year, Rob, tipped deep purple in a, one of these races. Again, a class act dropping down, wasn't it? Mm. Top weight, you know, a really good horse giving weight away to slow animals. Yeah. And he's the best horse in this race. I suppose it's easy just to disregard them, isn't it, with them top weight or put a line through that. But he'll be, will he be double figures, do you think? He's 10 to 1 now. Is he? He will affirm, yeah. And I just think... Um, Again, the reason is, as you know, we're going back to Deep Purple again, when we put him up at 40, and he was the best horse in the race, top weight, dropping down, taking a drop in class. And Neptune Colon's not used to running handicaps. He's used to running grade one company all his life, isn't he? He's a mm. proper good horse. And I think he's been third in the Gold Cup, hasn't he, in fourth. Mm. None of these could do this. Well, Mon yeah. Moan was, but beating about yeah. 50 lengths in the third. Yeah. And, you know, the reason I think why these top weights in, these, in his handicap chases have a, have a good record, or a recent good record, is the fact that they go that bit slower. You know, it's three mile four. I remember tipping Carabas in this race last year. Do you remember? And it had a wind up. If it had that, it probably would have won last year, wouldn't it? Another horse would run in a gold cup, yeah. taking a slight drop in class. Rather than these old sluggers like the Bow Bay in Giles Cross, the only cap it gets up with them in the end. They were winning at Fontwell, Giles mm. Cross. But none of them could run in a gold cup like this horse did. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm quite sweet on his chance. At the price again, as old Leslie Crabber said, if the price is right, come on down. And that'd be each way, would it? Oh, definitely, yeah. The mm. 10 to 1, yeah. And okay. also, I'd be looking to trade out in running as well. Mm. Okay.